My name's Ray Lemming. I teach uh, the estimating course here at Illinois Institute of Technology. I've taught it for 29 years now. This is the 50th semester. And Professor Lemming's a great teacher. It's just fun how he brings his experiences into the lectures. One of the primary places that people go into the business is the estimating shop in a large contractor or even in, uh, in some design firms. And our kids end up in many of these jobs, and uh, that's another reason that we want them to learn it. In my class, I've been using RS means data since day one. To be honest, there isn't another database out there that covers the whole industry and covers as many different types of areas. We put the uh, students in uh, usually three-person teams and tell them, Okay, you got to do the full estimate on this entire building, all the details. And the deliverables are a project book that has all these line items from RS Means in them. And then the second deliverable is they have to get up and present this. One of the reasons we do that is we tell them, take it on the job interview. And it shows people that they've learned some of the basic concepts or ideas and it shows a work product. This class is all about RS means. And if you have seen the reports that students give during the presentation, those are all RS means reports. We use RS means online for doing basically 99% of the estimate. Everything is in one website and, and it's listed by division. There's a search bar, so it's pretty straightforward. Finding the cost, finding the amount of labor, equipment price, labor price, everything, those are things which RS Means already has. It's got everything in there for you. You can search your divisions, pick out the items that you need, and there's a description there as far as, uh, say, it's concrete placement. Are you getting just the concrete as material? Is there rebar in it? Is there labor costs involved in finishing it? So if you take your time and read that item and match up your units and quantities, you should be able to get a pretty accurate estimate. So we got to learn how to use RS means, how when you do a detailed estimate, there will be general requirements, there will be structure, there will be civil site work, mechanical, plumbing, electronic safety, fire safety. It was pretty easy to compile the estimates and then it allows you to export it to Excel or PDF. Which is very handy to have. All the data is spelled out very clearly and it's easy to read. And then what I really like is the custom line item ability. We didn't really look at labor costs anywhere else. So creating that custom line item was much easier. I don't know how you would do this if you didn't have the means database. And I'm not just saying that to say it. We might be able to do it um, with RS means, but RS means is a tool that makes it a lot easier. RS means is like a savior now, yeah. Click the link in the description to learn more about using RS means data in your classroom.